I want to show you how I did my natural gas conversion on this champion generator today. Um, I have a model 100-155, which I got at Costco a few years ago um, in Northern California. It comes dual fuel uh, for gas and propane, but I wanted to run natural gas after we just went through a five day outage with the uh, PG&E power shutdowns. Um, and so basically I just ordered this uh, conversion kit online for about 150 bucks and um, I didn't even install it all the way. Um, typically they give you this part here, which would install back right here on the carburetor. Um, you would take out this whole uh, air filter, which is not too hard. I took the whole thing apart um, and you would install this. The only issue is then you might have to cut the frame and modify the frame in order for this to fit. And I found an easier way of just using the existing uh, propane line that they had. So all I did was unscrew the screw of the, uh, the hose clamp and I pulled this one back off. That was coming off the carb carburetor already. And then I just took the um, the regulator that came, we can, which you can see is much larger than the one that's factory installed. So this one now can do both natural gas and propane. Um, and it's still, now it would be a, still be a tri-fuel generator. Um, so I just used the hose that they gave me in the kit and I hooked it right back up um, to where the old hose came off going to the propane hookup and put the hose clamp right on that and if you take off this bracket with these three little uh bolts you can get in there very easily and so i just popped that right on uh, i mounted the little bracket on the side here with a couple screws and i just hooked up right to this new much larger uh regulator um set it up uh, after one or two fires. Um, for natural gas, you always leave it in the run position. And then I just hooked it right up to my house supply. Um, I had an extra space to tap off basically. And I got a quick release here so I can store this in the, in the house when I don't need it. And then all I do is wheel it out and uh, turn on the natural gas and we're good to go. And this thing, I've already ran it for almost two and a half hours on natural gas and it ran great. Um, so this is a much easier way to install these kits. Uh, I'll have a link uh, down below of where you can find this one. There's a couple others as well, but you don't even have to take anything apart over there. You just take the hose off, put this hose back on over that and hook it up. And basically um, you still fire up the battery um, and then we should be good to go. You want to purge a little bit to get the air out of the line. And once you dial in the bolt depth, it'll, uh, you'll, you can hear it, you can adjust it up and down and it'll dial right in. <laughs> Remember to turn it off, you need to kill the gas, either disconnect with a quick connect or do the gas shut off. And um, that's the way, because this, this kill switch will not work because you're not using this propane, um, which is, this is set, this off switch is set up to this propane switch. You won't even use this at all and you won't use this. So if you want to go back to propane, you can also use this. So you can do propane or natural gas right on this guy um, and it's good to go. I hope that helps you guys if you guys want to do a uh, tri-fuel on this champion model.